What is going on guys Healy here and today I'm going to be showing you the best hitting tips for MLB the show 20. I'm going to go over the best settings to have on this game and and some tips to help your game excel. Uh, if you are a super advanced hitter I'd recommend going to watch Kyle's video if you're trying to get even better than what you are. My stuff is mainly for the new players to the game or some average players in MLB The Show. So if you're a super advanced guy, go watch your friend Kyle's video. His link is in the description down below. But to get started, uh, you want to go over to your user settings. We're going to go to gameplay options. Hitting difficulty, you put it on whatever. I will probably put this on legend. The hitting view. We'll go over them in the game, but I like strike zone to start off. In play view, you can have it on whatever. I use dynamic. That's just what I enjoy. Uh, the ball trail, you can also have this on whatever. I will leave it on daytime only. A uh, zone or a hitting interface, we're we're using zone. Directional's okay. Your analog, iffy zone is the best you're going to get the best results and you're going to be the most competitive in zone it'll be a little hard to start up but after playing for a day or so you will get used to it it will be fine input buttons analog type flick this doesn't do anything you want this plate coverage indicator on and then uh for the rest we'll, we'll go over in the game and i'll show you what i am going to use this year for what the pci looks like i go to custom practice go to custom practice put it on the teams that i want most of the time for the away team i go with the boomers because they have nolan ryan and for the home team i normally just pick a team with a player that i want to use uh for this gameplay though we are gonna go with we'll go with the long ball beasts I would recommend playing at a stadium that you're going to play at. So we're going to play at Riverboat for this. I normally play at Riverboat. You can play at whatever. A lot of people on MLB The Show like playing at Ship It. You'll get the best performance on MLB The Show. It's also at a higher elevation. And the balls are just going to launch. I enjoy Riverboat. I don't know why. I can't tell you. So we're going to be hitting... We're going to create the play, put it on batting, uh, put the repeat to yes. If you are just going for timing of fastballs, I would recommend putting it to three balls because you're going to get a lot of fastballs thrown. Uh, for this, though, we could just do zero, zero and mix it up. Uh, we're going to start off with, let's go, let's go Bichio. Let's try them out. We'll create the play. We'll go to the options, gameplay. So that, like I said, this is on strike zone, which is pretty close. Strike zone two is a little further. Strike zone three, up further back. You go strike zone high, which is similar to strike zone. Strike zone offset, still zoomed in. Wide, would not recommend. Offset, would not recommend. Offset zoom is a decent one if you like seeing the stances. Pitcher, you can't use online. And then uh, the show 16 would not. Catcher, fish eye. All these are so far back. If you want to play franchise and use these, go ahead. If you're playing online, I would not recommend. Zoom's not bad. You can see the full stance. But yeah, strike some. For the play coverage indicator, I'm going to use diamonds. They added a new center indicator, which uh, shows you where the perfect, perfect zones are in this game. We're just going to leave the inner and outer as basic. You can make it wedge if you want. You can make it starfighter, fishbowl, all that. We're going to leave it on basic. We're going to change the color to cyan. I'm going to play on 40%. We're going to have the outer PCI fade. We'll put the opacity up so you guys can see the PCI more in this. It's not going to show right here. Ooh, okay. So we, we, we made contact there. Nolan Ryan, he's just going to throw you super fast fastballs he throws 100 miles per hour you'll get your timing down on that disable so as i was talking about the outer pci in the bottom left hand corner 
it shows the normal PCI, and then there's a, a circle around that. This second outer part that fades away for the PCI is the outer PCI, and that's what it represents in the feedback. If you get the PCI, that part of the PCI on the ball, you do have a chance to foul off pitches and uh, make some contact with it and maybe put it in play. So that that's why you need uh, high vision guys if you want that to happen. High vision guys, that's will have a bigger outer circle. Now for me, the past few years, I've started off with the PCI a little high and in because I used to get beat by fastballs on older games. So I hold my PCI in a spot that I'm the weakest at hitting. Generally, you should probably start it towards the middle. That was a bad look, very light. But for me, I start up high. Ooh, that one was good. And I adjust to the baseball. A lot of people online pitch fastballs high and in. And they're just going to throw inside fastballs and then lower off speed. So you want to want to kind of hold the PCI inside and adjust to those fastballs. And then you can adjust to the off speed. It's going to be slower. You will have time. If you want only the dots, you can go to gameplay and put the PCI outer and inner to none. And you just have the dots moving around. If you don't want that outer circle happening, you can just leave it off and you'll have somewhat of a normal PCI. And if you don't even like the inner uh indicator you want it to be like the old mlb the show game so you could remove it easily and with the new fade outs or certain pitches you could have these outside pcis and then it fades just so it shows the center one oof are we too early on that i was too early too hot on the fastball right now but like i said earlier I start a little high and in just so I don't get beat by fastballs and I adjust to the pitches. It's going to take a day or so to get used to this and you're probably going to pull the PCI down a lot. The only way to get better is just to keep playing and to make sure that you have discipline to not drop the PCI all the way down below the baseballs. For lefties, right-handed pitchers might try to go outside they are trying to get you to roll over if you're early enough on it you could get some good results like th that got caught unfortunately but it, you need your pci to be on the ball off speed stuff is low and away as well fastballs it's kind of tough to pitch fastballs to lefties high and in guys can reach easily but you probably will get a couple high and in online Lefty versus righties, it's kind of going to be like the lefty versus righty matchup. Fastballs aren't really going to happen to you. If you get a fastball, you should probably crush it. You'll be able to see it a little easier, and you should be able to turn on it. Off speed is probably going to be low and away, or they're going to try to throw sliders low and in. Just because if they throw a slider low and in, they'll get you to chase. They'll get you some weak contact. The toughest matchup is lefty lefty. I don't know why my timing's always messed up with lefty lefty. Fastball's high and in. You're going to get a lot online. And then off speed is going to be low and away. That's what's going to happen. Fastball's inside, off speed, low and away. Every single time. There we go. We get a perfect hit. Waited on it. Hit it to the left field. Custom practice will be your friend. You need to pay attention to your opponent's tendencies. And a lot of people online pitch very similarly. Fastball's high in the zone. 
off speed low be ready to crush the fastballs you're gonna need to and take advantage of it especially with perfect perfect this year custom practice will be your friend play on a higher difficulty than you normally play because you will get better from it not too high of a difficulty but if you're playing on veteran play on all-star if you play on all-star normally play it on hall of fame play on hall of fame play on legend get used to the speeds rather be early than be late on a bunch of pitches so that's gonna do it for this video if you guys do have any questions comment down below if you need a better explanations than what i gave you i'll be glad enough to comment also look at some of the other comments to see if people had similar questions or if they had stuff that you might not know like i said pretty basic tutorial uh for the average player if you guys want to go watch this super advanced one then uh go watch kyle's video link to that is in the description down below this is healy and i am out peace